What's up, guys? We are back in Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and we are going to get back on the road of the main story. First, we're going to save our game because I forgot to do that at the end of last part. There we go. And we just completed Tsubasa's side story and got a special performance. So now everyone has a special performance except Itsuki. Wonderful. Um, I assume he's never going to get one, but we'll see what happens. So what does Toma have to say? Oh, by the way, Itsuki, we should totally head back to the Idolosphere if he got the time. You know, get in a kick-ass training session. Maybe make a montage. Okay. I already did. <laughs> I already kind of did uh, go back in there and grind. I only leveled up everyone like once, but it was enough. Because I felt like I had a lot of difficulty... Uh, with is the Karaba right? Let's go to the station because I know how to get there from there. I felt like I was having a lot of trouble with the last dungeon, particularly boss fights. Like boss fights in this game are insane. I the bosses are just too hard. <laughs> like they they outspeed me, so they double attack me all the time. The enemies are sessioning me, and it's like I just feel like I can't do anything about my guy just dying in one turn even when i raise their defense it's just so annoying but anyway we are going to go in and get started with the next part of the story with barry uh which Maiko told me to do off screen sorry about that oh uh, what does kiria want to say hey itsuki there was something i just wanted to go over with you about ellie like we covered before she's a mirage master too we plan on having her fight under your command as well when we have time i'll formally introduce her to your to our mirage you may end the intermission and proceed to the next chapter at the Uzumi Lesson Studio. End the intermission, yes. Alright, more lessons with Barry. When you pose, be aware of every part of your body. Fingertips to toes. And think about what makes... Then think about where you're looking. Understood. Okay, why don't we take a break before we go on. Next is showing off your wardrobe and accessories. Who's that other guy in the room? Tsubasa managed to, managed to take a big step forward with all their modeling work. Now it's your turn, Itsuki. Didn't this whole experience get you thinking at all? I had no idea so much detail went into this. You and Irina Zawa are so passionate about these photo shoots. Hmm. If you can feel our passion, then you might be on the right track to becoming a true professional. Amateurs usually don't recognize the emotion that goes into making these photos. Looks as though you're improving as a member of the industry, too. Hey, hey, break time's over. Back to training. Oh, that's Toma. I didn't recognize him. Move, move, move. Intermission end. Itsuki Aoi has grown as an entertainer and become new talent. Special performance. Oh, well, I stand corrected. I guess we're getting a special performance immediately. Strike a pose. Tomo Akagi's casual clothes have been added as the costume lesson mode. Alright. So we have a special performance for everyone. That's good. So now we have an RNG chance of demolishing the field. The next generation. Mamori, did you make sure you didn't forget anything? Oh yes, I have everything. But I hope you remembered to bring your phone charger this time, Uncle Barry. Oh no! God, I'm so dumb. I guess I forgot to bring it today, too. Ah, uh, not again. I don't need mine for the rest of the day. Here, you can borrow it. Oh, thank you, Mamori. You truly are a real live 3D angel from the heavens. An angel? <laughs> I don't know about that. Mamori, isn't it time for you to head back to the studio? Ayaha's waiting for you. Oh, I almost forgot! Come on, Itsuki. Send her off with a good word. Good luck with the recording. I'll see you later. Thank you. I'll do my best. Goodbye, then. Does it really feel as nice when someone, when you clearly see someone tell the guy to say something nice to you? Did you take that girl's charger again? You don't have to say it like that. Can you believe Mitsuki? Barry keeps forgetting his charger on purpose so you can borrow memories. What's wrong about that? I'm the founding member of the Memori Minamoto unofficial fan club. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a fan club doesn't really have anything to do with this. 
That pure innocence, that heartwarming smile, and that cuteness that just makes me you want to protect her? Mamori is too good, too pure for this world, and her unofficial fan club will shield her from the world's corruption. Okay, then. Itsuki, do you know Mamori? As in microwaving with Mamori. Oh, I just heard about that recently. It's the show that Mamori's on, right? Mm. It's doing really fantastic in the ratings. It's all thanks to Mamori. She's the most popular child star on the air. On the air. As you can see, she's getting a lot of fans, like... this. <laughs> what I'd like to do is use her popularity to give her a chance to sing, but... Now that you mention it, I remember Mamori saying that she wanted to work jobs in which she could sing. She's a good girl and a hard worker. She does like the job she has. She does like the job she has, but I'd like to get her s some singing gigs. Mamori makes a great hostess, but she really loves to sing. I can't wait to see her shine on stage as a singer. Which is why, as head of the unofficial fan club, I swear I'll find something I can do to help her. <laughs> oh my god. Barry. Kinda gets even crazier than usual when it comes to anything involving Mamori. Yeah, I noticed. You've never believed he used to be that incredible guitarist. You know, he even used to be a Mirage Master. What? Really? Yes, but during a battle with a powerful Mirage, he ended up sacrificing all the power he had. And he lost his Mirage. Barry felt responsible, and he fell into an awful depression. That was about when he quit the band. And then... Well, a lot happened in between, but, but now he's ended up our instructor. I never knew Barry had a past like that. So since Mamori works with this company, does that mean she's a Mirage Master too? Mamori's not a master. She has a potential to be one, however. Potential? But then, she also, yeah. then, does, then does she also know about the Mirages? No, I haven't told her anything yet. She does have the aptitude, but I don't know if I want someone that young mixed into this fight. So Itsuki, if the worst happens, I want you to be there for her, okay? Understood. Oh, it's about time I head out, too. See you later, Itsuki. A few days later. Hey, Sipasa, have you heard? Sounds like our feature issue of Nanno is selling pretty well. Oh, no. Now I'm getting all nervous about thinking about how many people actually saw me in it. What are you so anxious for? You're in the show business. The whole point is to get everyone's eyes on you. Everyone, you have to listen! What? Mamori? What's gotten to you all of a sudden? Live on TV, special feature! I've been chosen to be on Serenoid- Serenade. It's been my dream to get to perform on it. Uh, Serenade? Soulful Serenade. Uh, most people just call it Serenade. It's an hour-long show on Daito TV for traditional Japanese ballads, but they want to do a special two-hour show. Oh, Serenade is so amazing. All my favorite artists are going to be performing. So you're saying you'll get to perform in this show you really like? Yes! And Uncle Barry was the one who recommended me to the producers. Barry did. He said he was friends with someone on the show. Apparently his friend wa watches Microwave with Mamori too. That's great that you get to be on such a big show. Congrats, Mamori. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. I have to go to rehearsal now. I'll do my best. Mamori left the office. Oh, when is Serenade starting? I hope Mamori's not too nervous. This is gonna end badly. <laughs> Mirages are going to attack that performance. We know it is. Barry's with her, so she should be fine. I'm sure she's relaxed and enjoying being on the show. Putting that aside, Itsuki? Yes? There's actually something that we were able to find out during that whole Horinazawa incident. Apparently, he started acting differently when he took a job from Daiba TV to shoot some promotional photos. Daiba TV? That's where I had my audition. 
so that network was involved in both cases, Tsubasa's audition and the incident with Mr. Arinazawa. That's a little suspicious. Do you think Daiba TV is involved in some way? Seems plausible. I think there's a good chance the one behind all this is someone within the company. You think so too, huh? I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we don't exactly have any other leads. Why would that? Why would it be a bad thing? People go in and out of those, the, those stations all the time. All right, <laughs> that is true. Then again, we may have our winning ticket here. I'll just have to make sure all our numbers line up first. Well, there's still some time until Memoria's show starts, so I think I'll go out for a bit. Hmm? Currently working hard. I should be able to make it back for Mori's part starts, but just in case, could you record it for me? I just walked up to the TV. That, that's all I did. I didn't press anything. Huh? Oh, it's you. Yashiro, so this is it. Yashiro? What exactly are you doing here? Hmm, no sign of her. Where's Tiki? Tiki? You mean the Udaloid Tiki? No, not the Udaloid Tiki, the Mirage Tiki. I know Fortuna is hiding her here somewhere. What do you want with her? It's not your concern, I doubt you'd understand. Explaining myself to the incompetent is a luxury I do not have. I'm not going to take someone to see my friend if they won't tell me their intentions. Friend, is it? Ludicrous. Hand over Tiki, that is one, my one demand. Sorry, no go. <laughs> I see. Then I hardly need waste more time on you. There. Stop! What is he doing? He's not kidnapping my wife. Well, get back here. Get back here. Itsuki, he was at the main door. You didn't stop him? Sooner? Before he got to the blue door? Oh my goodness. Oh wait, so is Tiki hiding? Tiki, where are you? I must speak with you. What do you plan on doing to her? I warn you, do not try to stop me. I can't afford to waste any more of my time on your delusions. If you mean to stand in my way, you shall suffer the consequences. Wait, seriously? We're fighting him? Who is... Shira's a Mirage Master too. You will stand down. No, I refuse to. Yashiro, oh god, he's powerful. Uh... Alright, we're gonna hit him with everything we got. Wait, strike a pose? Grants each party member one turn. Special performance. Oh, that's... Oh, I thought it was ad-lib. My bad. Alright. Yashiro, get out of my way. Krom, let's go! He's weak to lances, good. You understand the basics, but you're no match for me. Thousand waves. Ow, go! Oh, okay then. Do you simply not understand the difference in our strength? So I assume that was scripted, because I don't think it's possible we could have survived that. Hand Tiki over, immediately. What's wrong with this guy? Seriously. I don't even know who his Mirage is supposed to be. Maiko, where are you? When do we need you? Everyone all right? Somehow. He's tough. Insufficient, even with Kuruno. Uh. Can't you hide? 
Tiki. It's been five years. I finally found you, Tiki. Who are you? How do you know who I am? It's me, Yashiro Suruki. You don't recognize me? We met that day, five years ago. I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. Uh. Stop it, Yashiro. You're scaring her. Big brother! True, Tiki truly has lost all her memories. Yeah. I see. And I suppose it was all for nothing. For nothing? What do you mean? It sounded like that person knew who I was, but I don't know him. How did Yashiro know about Tiki? He was involved in the disappearance five years ago as well. Although I'm not too clear on the details. What? His father, Shikayami Tsurugi, disappeared on stage. That trauma might be why he only fights alone. As are our strengths really that far apart? How humiliating. I thought I'd be evenly matched against Yashiro, but I didn't stand a chance. If only I were stronger. We just have to do it our way. We'll get stronger together, Kiri, and we'll win next time. Yeah, guess you're right. There's no point getting depressed over it. I finally found you guys! Something awful happened. The Serenade Studio is being attacked! Yeah, I called it! I called it! What the hell? Suki, what do we do? Let's head back to the office. I totally called this! Goodness. What the hell? Wait, why is Michael back now? Slut. What is going on? Barry? Barry, please. Barry, please. <laughs> The internet already got a hold of this broadcast and it's spreading fast. The recording studio for Serenade was Dido TV. So a Mirage incident occurred somewhere other than Daido TV. Yeah, looks like we probably shouldn't focus on them after all. That person ba playing the guitar on stage, isn't that Barry? Yeah, there's no mistaking it. Barry's not a master anymore. So he must have not been able to stop the Mirage and it took him over. This isn't good. Wait, that means that Mamori is also... She's in danger. She's still at the Serenade Studio. I'm worried about them. Let's head to the TV station. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to. You too, Ellie? I'm a master as well, or did you forget? All oh, right, you are. Don't tell me you actually forgot. Anyway, if our friend's in danger, we save them. Even if it means punching out the president. That's Hollywood. And who knows? Maybe Varian and I will get to show you some flashy sharpshooting archery, too. Why Varian? I thought... I thought there, that the character was supposed to be matched by gender. But apparently we have a... A girl holding a male mirage. I guess they don't care. I'll be counting on it. Alright, I'm more to Dido TV. We're rescuing Mamori. So what? what's her level? I assume it's like 25, right? There's something really bad and heavy. Yeah, it feels really heavy. I think this is all coming from that place you were looking at on TV. I think it's called Daito TV Station? It's going to be your first time going there, right? Be sure to be careful. Ellie's Radiant Skill, Sloma. So we need to quickly get uh, Ellie a skill and look at her tool set. So here's Virian. There's Virian up here. Aha, it's Suki, I presume. Yeah, that's me, and you are? 
I am the noble Mirage, partner with Ellie. My name is Virian, good sir. It is my distinct pleasure to make you acquaintance. Mm. Oh, Sir Ellie's Mirage. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Mm. As you have doubtless observed, Sir Ellie is somewhat rambunctious. As nobles, it is our duty to refine her into a lady of class. Mm. Uh, I'm not really a noble or anything. Ooh. Is that so? Strange. I could have sworn I felt a kinship. An aura of elegance, style, and faded grandeur. <laughs> but no matter. Those of regal bearing and great nobility must act with all magnanimity due to their station. If the mood ever strikes you, please, come by for a chat. Conversation, advice, or witticism. All I shall happily supply. So let's give Eleonora... So she's level 24. That's not bad. Sloma... Slows enemy pursuit on the field. Okay, so this isn't really that big a deal. I actually never use these skills because I want to fight all the enemies in my way. She actually looks really good. I love the blue hair. That that looks really sick, actually. So she is our first bow user, which is good that we finally have a bow user after getting two lance users early on in the game. That's kind of weird. But... All right, so let's see. We might need to give her... So Kyria doesn't have more weapons. Poor Kyria. Uh, Toma doesn't have... All right. And Itsuki, we got the answerer, so we're good on him. So now, let's see, Virian. He has the longbow. And he only has four weapons. That's... Hmm. So it looks like we already have his only bow that we can get right now. So we'll need to move on. And now we have to go to Daiba TV Station? Something along those lines? Man, that scripted battle... I doubt you could grind and win that battle, right? Because that attack did so much damage. Freaking insane. Daibo TV station. Daito TV station. Okay. I keep reading it wrong. <laughs> Everyone's disappeared. <laughs> and there's the Idolosphere. Mamori! Oh, it's Suki. Thank goodness you're all right. There was a big shadowy monster that attacked me, but Uncle Barry shielded me and... Where is he now? Over there. You're going to save him, right? Can I come with you? Wait for us back at the office. Don't worry, we'll get Barry back safe. Okay. Ellie? Or Toma. No doubt about this, Miss Maiko. Looks like the station was just attacked. We found Mamori. Can you send someone to pick her up? We're heading to Illusory Daito TV. And Ellie. Alright, contact saved. This is Itsuki, right? Anyway. Why did this have to happen now? My first message was supposed to sound more like a Hollywood star. Alright, so let's change our casting so we can have, uh... Hmm. We'll have Toma and, uh... Ellie, because we need to work on that. And it looks like we're in sort of a... Lantern. So we're in some kind of ninja thing all right seems legit at least it's colorful fry a dollar sphere hi ellie first we need to find barry ah oh, my cue the time has come for me to grace the stage my noble flair and fury alike are yours to command i'll be counting on you partner let's show them how it's done in hollywood So let's change our casting. 
Let's put play Subasa with Eleonora. All right. See how she plays. God, she looks really good. I love that design. Aww. They're perfect. Oh, she is... <laughs> She's going to murder these things. Oh my god. If, if bows work the same way in this game... Weak shot. Unfortunately, we don't have... Oh, what the hell? I don't know what that was, but... Take this. Weak. She just can't move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We already have a freaking confuse effect. Oh my god, really? God damn it. Are you really doing this? Alright, fine. We bought these for a reason, I guess. Where is it? Wait, did that not work? What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. I thought that was supposed to work. Huh. Let's try a... Uh, fire strike. Woo! Oh my god. Okay, I hate this thing. Man, it's a good thing she has defense. Jesus. Block. Oh wow, he's completely immune to it. Oh, well, eh, fine. <laughs> I guess that works. Alright, there we go. I'm going to freaking murder this thing. Do I have a stronger lightning? Zoanga. Get, get out of here! <clears throat> Or not, you're just not gonna die. Ow! Okay, he missed. Are you weak to this? Lex strike. Or can I actually link off? Hmm. Let's try fire. Alright, he's weak to it. Nice! There we go. Alright, so we got some skills to equip. Fatal Sword, a medium attack. Light attack that lowers target's offense, raises the party's defense for three rounds, raises the party's offense for three rounds. Mazio, light attack on all enemies, medium attack. Mm. Let's go with Fatal Sword. Mm. And we have a new weapon to equip. With Kane, we now have Wind Strike that lowers target's hit and evade. Poison Skewer. So let's do the Horse Slayer. Wind Strike. And we have Virion. Weak Shot Plus. Tsubasa's <laughs> Carnage is ready for Unity. Ayakaze. Well, I don't really need that. So, wardrobe. Actually, no, he's he's not the one who mastered it. It was Itsuki. So now we are going to equip the Answerer. This guy, I love this blade. <laughs> this blade looks awesome. 
Huh? So we can't go that way. So you really have no choice. Shit. Missed it. Uh, the thing is, we need Eleanor to get some session skills, because she needs to be performing a little better. Now let's get rid of this guy, because I'm tired of getting confused. Done. Alright, so he's resistant to swords. Resistant to all that shit. So let's just uh, use an item on me. Actually, no, we'll let, uh... Hmm. Thing is, I don't want to die. <laughs> so let's just use a light healing item. Just to make sure he doesn't die immediately. Or I guess not light. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just hit him with the, uh... A medium sword. No, not a medium sword. Let's hit him with a hard-hitting medium lightning. And then we'll kill him with Tomo. Wind strike. And dead. Bop. Oh, thunder. Oh, thank God. We can link off the bow now. So. Let's use some skills, I know. And raises defense. Oh, debut smile looks actually like a pretty good, like, move to use. It's actually useful. What's this? There's a lantern. There's a lantern. Okay. I don't know how I would light that lantern, but all right. Gotcha. Who are these guys? Uh, they don't look like they're weak to fire, so let's try skewering them. Here they are. Boop. So they're weak to weapons, it looks like. Sword plasma. Fatal sword. Ouch. Dead. And Lance Snipe. Lance Snip. Snipper Riffle. All right. Gotcha. I want to get rid of these guys first. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, we got an ad lib. God, bye. <laughs> and fire. Damn. <laughs> Adlibs are so strong. So strong. <sighs> Goodness. What's this? Oh shit. No, I'm out of here. Shit. 
Oh, these guys are... Hmm. This isn't actually that bad. This could end up good, but the problem is... The problem is... <laughs> so let's see. Alright, let's see what we can do. If two of our guys die, then whatever. Lullaby song. Oh, shoot. Thomas. Hmm. I don't have anything that really kills them, so... Fatal Sword. God damn it. Whoa. God damn it. What the hell? Jesus, it's like a triangle attack. Yeah, we're out of here. We are out the fuck of here. Alright, so we need to exit. And let's try and open up that door before we can call it apart. That one that was blocked from the other side. <laughs> I assume... Alright, no, that's just an item. God damn it. So it looks like we're gonna have to figure this out. Either way, we are gonna head back to the Fortuna office. Actually, we don't have to head back, but we are going to save our game. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.